When it comes to the Ace Attorney series, I'm still something of a newcomer. While I tried to play the original game when it was first released, it didn't exactly click with me, mainly because I misinterpreted how some of the mechanics were handled. Thankfully, I had a second chance with the release of the Phoenix Wright and Professor Layton crossover. All of a sudden, I got the appeal of Ace Attorney and soon dove into the series. While I've only completed the first four games, they still stand out as some of the funniest, most heartwarming, and downright charming stories I've ever encountered. And now that the original trilogy has been ported to the Switch, I'm curious how they still stand. Is this port the best way to experience the misadventures of Phoenix Wright? For those not familiar with the games, the Ace Attorney trilogy focuses on a new defense lawyer who's just learning the ropes of the craft. Phoenix Wright's clients are usually suspected of a crime, typically murder, and it's up to him to find flaws in a witness's testimony and find evidence to prove their innocence. It always starts simple, but the twists and turns along the way can truly surprise and even excite you. The first game is all about introducing the ideas behind this world, while the sequels expand and really drive to the heart of many of the characters. As the story is basically the major focus, I don't want to give anything away, but I remember how much I would get sucked into these moments, and that hasn't changed at all even knowing what's coming this time around. It's like a great movie, you don't mind replaying them because the journey is so much fun. The Ace Attorney series works a bit like a classic adventure game crossed with a visual novel as there are two types of gameplay. Cases usually begin with an investigation where you must travel from location to location interviewing witnesses and searching for clues to help in the coming trial. Talking to the various characters can also provide hints or key points that can help lead you to solving each mystery. Even better, while searching the different locations, the game will indicate what you've already looked at. So if it no longer has a check mark, there's inevitably something new to see. The other half of each game are the trials, where you face off against a prosecutor who is dead set on getting that guilty verdict. Witnesses come to the stand to provide testimony, which Phoenix can then cross-examine in the form of pressing each statement. Not everything a witness says helps your case, but they quite often lead to humorous exchanges or hints to what players really want to find. Contradictions. Finding these contradictions helps the player figure out when to present the correct evidence, which also proves how the witness is lying or misremembering. However, if the wrong evidence is presented, you will receive a penalty. Mess up too many times, and the case will immediately end in a guilty verdict. However, you can save at any time, so if you're not sure about your evidence, it doesn't hurt to save and try a hunch. The trials really are the highlight of each game. It's where you see the best humor, the best exchanges, and even some real emotional highlights. There's still nothing quite like the moment when I catch a witness in a lie and know exactly what evidence to show. And when the various prosecutors inevitably find some way to rally back, it can be devastating. But this back and forth can be surprisingly harrowing, and each of Phoenix's reactions help emphasize just how rough he has it sometimes. After a while, seeing him smile confidently created a kind of cathartic reaction for me. This basic structure is maintained throughout all the games, but the sequels introduce a new element to spice up the investigation phase. This comes in the form of Cyclops, which are visual representations of a character hiding something. These are broken by presenting evidence showing that you know what they're keeping secret. Once all the locks are taken care of, new information is shown. It provides a goal to work toward, rather than wandering each location for a specific scene to trigger. Not only that, but if you get it wrong, you could actually fail in the investigation phase, though it's unlikely. And that's really all there is to it when it comes to the gameplay. While on the surface, it doesn't sound like it changes much throughout the three games, it's the characters, scenarios, and overall stories that push you forward. Not every case is a winner, but the highs are unbelievably great, especially in the third game when you've become attached to this eclectic cast. But what does the Switch version add to this trilogy, as this isn't the first time Ace Attorney has been ported? Well, not much. Like the previous console ports, the trilogy uses higher definition artwork of the characters, and while these can look good on their own, the movement can be a little choppy. A lot of the smoothness from the animations is sadly missing. It's not a big loss though, as this is mainly a visual novel where the characters have limited animations. A bigger issue I had were the text boxes, as by default, they're not translucent like the original DS releases. 
Fortunately, this can be toggled in the options menu, which I highly recommend. Without this, it's possible to miss out on some of the smaller touches to a character's animation, especially for children. It may seem minor, but these animations really do showcase a character's personality. Otherwise, everything has been reworked to fit a single screen, and the few times touch controls were used in the original DS release have been adapted for a standard controller or the touchscreen in handheld mode. But that's it, there aren't any extras to talk about. However, beyond some shaky animations, the presentation really is fantastic. The script is snappy and funny, the character designs are memorable, and the music is spot on. I would feel good for figuring out the inconsistency in a witness's testimony on its own, but the music that kicks in when I do makes me feel like I have the prosecutor on the ropes. It makes each moment that much better in every situation, whether the soundtrack is punctuating a silly moment or a serious low. If you've already played the Ace Attorney trilogy, there isn't anything new being offered here. It's the same story you're familiar with, just on the Switch. But if you've somehow never played these games, I can't recommend this release enough. I love it, and it's well worth experiencing the great characters, the fun mysteries, and the absolutely satisfying conclusions. Now, we just need Capcom to port the other Ace Attorney games. Maybe someday. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Ace Attorney and other things gaming.